Hello, good afternoon. It's another Friday. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you some tips, some hacks and some tricks that you may not be aware of when you are using doTERRA Zengest, the new label, or I used to call it, I'm used to calling it doTERRA Digest Zen, right? So if you look at the ingredients of the Zengest or the Digest Zen, it is labeled as a digestive support blend. It's a blend of a couple of uh, essential oils, spices and herbs, aniseed, peppermint, ginger, caraway, tarragon, fennel, all these beautiful herbs and spices blended synergistically in one bottle. So if you look at the label directly, of course it's a digestive blend, you know that. So it supports digestive issues. Some of the digestive issues that you may be facing, uh, bloated tummy, indigestion, feeling some discomfort after eating too much, overeating, releasing some of the wind that is trapped in your tummy, right? Sometimes you may be feeling like you want to throw up. Sometimes you may be running to the toilet too frequently or having the runs. Sometimes the inability to evacuate completely. Again, this blend is to support the digestive system. It is not a cure for your digestive issues. Please remember that essential oils can support healing. Your body can heal if you support it well. And looking at the digestive system, take good care of it because everything starts there from the gut not just feeding your body for fuel, for energy, but feeding your body knowing that it also affects your emotions, right? Okay, so besides using it for gut-related issues, usually I would recommend to dilute one drop or two drops with some fractionated coconut oil. If you have been following me all this while, you know that I emphasize on proper dilution before applying it at the tummy area as frequently as required to support whatever stomach related issues you may be having at that point right i don't like to diffuse this oil because i think that um, it is better to apply it so i'm not going to be sharing diffusing of zenges but if you want to you can try there's no harm Let's look at the other things that it can support you with. If you have issues with, sometimes you have hiccups, that's very annoying, kan? And it's difficult to stop those hiccups. You may want to use one drop on your palm, close your eyes, cover your nose and your mouth, deeply inhale and exhale for one minute. Okay, apparently it can help to resolve these annoying hiccups that uh, affect us off and on. The other hack that I have to share with you is if you have had meals with a lot of garlic or uh, ginger, you know, sometimes overwhelming uh, amount of garlic has that aftertaste that, and leaving your mouth with that garlicky odor that you don't like, you can do a mouth rinse with zenges, a drop in a glass of water, probably after you brush your teeth just put a drop in a glass of water and gently gargle your mouth. It will help to remove these very strong odors that um, are affecting your oral cavity from eating garlic and so on. The third bit, the third hack I would like to share is regarding congestion. Congestion in the breathing area, if you have or you know someone who often has congestion at the nose, Right, so there's a pressure build up at the nose, huh? so you cannot breathe. Kan? Usually that happens and you feel like there is radiating pain from the congestion of the nose. You may use Zengest or Digesen again, diluted at the bridge of the nose and the nostrils as well. Always dilute. This is a follow up from your easy air, easy air or breathe. That one is the first one lah you use and then you layer it with a layer of Zengest to help with pressure in the nasal cavity, we call it. The fourth bit I want to share is for um, us ladies, when we have our monthly 
periods, that cramping feeling, that discomfort that happens for most of us who are women or our young daughters. This is a beautiful blend that can support cramping at the lower abdomen. Again, one drop of Zenges with about 10 drops of your carrier oil apply at the lower abdomen area and if you have the family essential kit or the home essential kit you have the top 10 oils right you can also layer with diluted deep blue essential oil or if you don't have that uh, you can use diluted peppermint essential oil that supports aches and discomforts really well and you can place a hot pack or a hot towel to ease that discomfort beautifully the last bit i always say for emotions so this time looking at digest zen or zenges is the oil for assimilation so if you have negative emotions like feeling overstimulated you have loss of appetite not just for food also for life I think that is losing the zest and you know the happiness uh, for life. Difficulty assimilating new information or experiences, feeling overwhelmed and unenthusiastic. This is the oil you may use to promote feelings of adjustment, feeling nourished, enthusiastic and engaged. You may want to Inhale it from your bottle. You may want to diffuse it if you like. But of course, to support directly, it is always recommended to use one drop, dilute and apply it at the stomach, the gut area to support these uh, emotions as well. You know, sometimes when you have um, anxious feelings, you have an uneasy, a discomfort in the stomach. That is quite common. When you feel anxious, when you have fear, uh, you, the first things you, you feel like, I need to go to the toilet, right? Because your stomach starts to cramp. So when you have these emotions, fear, anxious feelings coming in, you may want to reach for your zengest to ease the butterflies in the tummy. Apply diluted and then you may want to support your emotions. I would say go with oils like Wild Orange, those are happy oils, or doTERRA Balance to give you that calming feeling. Or you may also use Adaptive, which is another beautiful oil to use. So I hope you found today's session on the quick hacks and tips on Zengest that you may not know. It goes beyond using it for your stomach, right? If you have any issues, you'd like to connect with me or get yourself the kit so that you can be guided in this journey with essential oils always use essential oils carefully with guidance with proper dilution and if you are keen to support your emotions tonight i'm sharing how you can use doTERRA oils to support these difficult times the emotions that we go through so that you can learn to respond well to all sorts of challenges that we face on a daily basis it's at 8 30 pm tonight you can pm me for the zoom link it's free about 45 minutes only right so i hope you have a restful weekend and i'll see you again next week bye